I'm going to start with the walk around the house. Then I'm going to go into the house. And then we'll do the garage. So. As you can see, the timer in the top right where the map is says 28 minutes, 45 seconds. Um... I don't think that's exactly right. I'm pretty sure one day I fell asleep for like two and a half hours while on this map. So I will justly say I have legitimately put it at least 20 hours into this. And I thought it was gone. So feel free to leave your comments and let me know what you think if you want to. If not, no biggie. But here is the tour of the neighborhood clubhouse. So this is the walkway. Oh, crap. I left the door open. So we have a little, a little pond here with some fish in it. We have a gazebo. You come over this way. We got some fruits and vegetables growing. Pumpkins there. I don't remember exactly what these are. It's been so damn long. I've forgotten what I've planted. It's been so long. Like months, literally. A couple of apple trees, though. Um, and then an area, you know, to just sit and hang out. We got the pool. Again, some places just to sit. You got the kids area. You got a couple of these little springy toys. You got the little playhouse. And then you got, you know, bucket of balls for the kids to jump in if they want. And then I'm going to go back this way. I don't want... You got a couple of grills here. You got a fire pit. And now you got a little mini fridge. And a, a, you know, a little draw for silverware or whatever. And then over here. I've got it fenced off so the kitties can't get hurt. But a little, little cactus area, area with some cactus, and then, you know, especially in the summertime, area to lay out and, and get some sun, or, you know, you could chill out there and read if you want, or whatever, and you got some plants and some flowers, and now we go into the house, oh, don't forget the garden gnomes, though, very important, garden gnomes. Alright, and inside, you got a couple of ping pong tables, got some TVs for the watchings, another TV up there, TV there, a couple of TVs there, you've got restroom, and you've got, you know, individual bathrooms. Oops, turned too much. And yes, I'm aware that the doors are going through the toilet when you open them. It's a funny game mechanic. And then you've got the other bathroom, the, the boys' room. Again, I know the doors are going through the toilet. It's just what it is. Um, I'm going with these light fixtures because they look like D20, which are dice that have 20 sides. For those of you who are not familiar with what a D20 is. Basically, take your normal board game die, which has one, 1 through 6 on it. Shape it like this and put the numbers 1 through 20. You got a little whiteboard so you can write down activities and stuff. You got the 
I think that's the fr a fridge. Then you got a little place for, you know, doing a little bit of cleaning. And you got a TV there. Oh no, I think. Wait, did I put two? I put two fridges in here. Son of a gun. Then you know you can go outside. You can, you know, check over here, see if anybody needs anything. Yeah, you got the clock, so you can always tell the time. Then you get to go upstairs. Got a couple more TVs up here. Actually, got more than a couple of TVs up here. Again, the light fixtures, a couple of pool tables, and some darts. You got that hard wall so you don't jack jack everything up. You know, you, you got your throwing lanes. You, you stand here. And you throw your darts at that board. Now that I'm standing here, I'm feeling like I may have put the boards up a little high. But, you know, it's kind of hard to tell in the game. But I feel like maybe they should have been down around here. But, yeah, that, 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 yeah, you can see the darts in the board, just kind of cool. Again, you got to be able to tell the time. Whoops, wrong button. Come out here and overlook the front yard. Hey, it's your turn to shoot darts. Or you can come out here and go to the backyard. Put a little flower plant there. A couple over yonder. You can, you know, keep an eye on the kids or, you know, the pool. Make sure nobody's doing anything wrong. And now, one more place to go. The garage building. Welcome to the home theater. Six couches for seating. Each one has its own little table to keep the snacks on and stuff. You got, you know, you got your tower here so that you can. You got the projector on it. You got the game system so people can do some gaming. And a few controllers. I might need to pick up a couple more controllers. And, uh... This is, you know, from this side you can... See all the couches and stuff. And this is... The house that I thought I lost. I forgot I had some flowers over here. Walked right by them, didn't even mention them. But yeah, I easily put over 20 hours into this. Trying to, you know, trying to pick out the right, the right tiling he for here, and deciding how I wanted to do the layout. The uh. Actually, I'll tell you this real quick. This area, I had initially planned on putting some of these this way to basically block this side off. And there was there was a gap. No matter how I tried to do it, there was always a small gap. And I just didn't like the way it looked. So I was like, you know what? I'll line these up that way and I'll throw some of these bigger patches over this way some tomato plants but yeah so i am going to sell this because i don't want to risk not being able to get back into it so we're going to go into the off actually we're going to close the door just because that feels more um oh wait no the auctioneer would stand here and people would be out there and uh we're going to do the auction real quick all right now, we're going to put it up for auction. I paid 192000 for it. I believe I put around 
just under 12,000 into it. it. It'll tell me afterwards. But yeah, I'm I'm like I'm like two close to 205,000 deep into this. If I'm not mistaken. So I I'd like to get at least like 230 for it. That would be nice. Um maybe more. But we'll see what happens. We'll see we'll see uh I don't know, maybe I put too much into it. Like and they're looking for a home. There's not a single bedroom in it. You know, it's more of a neighborhood hangout place. Or, you know, a place for the neighbors to have have get-togethers. As opposed to an actual home. So that, I might get lowballed for that. But let's see what happens. 226 right at the start? Holy crap. Okay, okay, so, see, it shows, okay, so I put, I actually put 11,800 into renovations, but another 27,000 into, into stuff bought, and then, the stuff I sold was, uh, how much furniture sold? Almost 8,000? If I were to cancel this auction, it would they would charge me 5,300 for it. Um, I'm not going to cancel it. I am going to try to negotiate. And given how much this ha this is going, I'm going to, I'm going to try um, uh, hold on, let me do some math. Let me equals. So I'm gonna ask for another sixty-seven fifty-four to see if I can't get a twenty-five thousand dollar profit. Oh, I passed it. Okay, so sixty-seven fifty-four is what I want to ask for. That's the exact price. Um, negotiate offer. Yes, I got. The, I got. The, nice, nice. Twenty-five thousand dollar profit for this house. 